8 root 15 divided by 2 root 3. 8 root 15 over 2 root 3. So you have here this cancels, you get 4. Then you write 4 and you put a full under root side 15 over 3. This would cancel. And now the answer will be 4 under root 5. Now for the next sum, let's take up 8 under root 8. Under root 8 is 2, 2, 2. Make groups of 2. 2 under root 2. Then if, if you take 2 under root 32, it will be 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5 times. You make groups of 2. So 2 into 2 into 2 root 2. And that would work out 8 under root 2. And then we have 5 under root 2 is already in simplified form. We cannot simplify it any further. So for under root 8 plus 2 under root 32 minus 5 under root 2. Here we write 2 under root 2. Here 8 under root 2 and 5 under root 2. We will take under root 2 common out. 2 plus 8 minus 5. <coughs> and this works out to be 5 under root 2. Here we've got to know which is true and which is incorrect. So for the first one we have equal as under root 8 into under root b. This is definitely wrong. But the correct part of this would have been if cube root of a into b was given, it would have been cube root of a into cube root of b. This is wrong. The second one also is definitely wrong. We cannot write it this way. This wrong this under root a is under root a into under root b is right now for this x equal to 2 plus root 3 find the value of x plus 1 by x so if x equal to 2 plus root 3 we need to find 1 by x is 1 over 2 plus root 3 that is a plus b multiply a minus b So we have 1 by x equal to 2 minus root 3, a plus b minus b, a square minus b square. So 1 by x, 2 minus root 3, here we get 4 minus 3. So 1 by x equal to 2 minus root 3 over 1. This is my x and this is 1 by x and this is x. What I need to know is x plus 1 by x. So let's put the value. The value of x we know is 2 plus root 3 and the value of 1 by x we have got here 2 minus root 3. Here's a little mistake should be 3 here. So this cancels out. 2 plus 2 answer 4. 2 plus under root 3 over 2 minus under root 3 equal to a plus b under root 3. So we have 2 plus under root 3 over 2 minus under root 3. We need to rationalize. So here is a plus b. Rationalizing factor is a minus b. Rationalizing factor a plus b. So in the numerator we have 2 plus root 3 the whole square and in the denominator a plus b a minus b a square minus b square that is 2 and under root 3. In the denominator numerator now a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it comes 2 here a root 3 is a b 2 is a root 3 is a b and down we have 4 minus 3. So 2 square is 4 root 3 root 3 3 plus 4 root 3 over 1. So when we calculate this you get 7 plus 4 root 3 over 1 which we know is equal to a plus b root 3. When we compare 
we see that the 7 equal to A and this term 4 root 3 equal to B root 3. So, if 4 root 3 equal to B root 3, that means 4 equal to B and A equal to 7. The rationalizing factor of root 3 plus root 5. So, root 3 plus root 5. This is A plus B. Rationalizing factor will be A minus B. Root 3 minus root 5. So, this will be the rationalizing factor. The value of 4 under root 12 over 12 under root 27. So, we put 4 over 12 separate here and both these under the same sign. Let's cancel out. This is 3 here and uh, inside the bracket I can cancel this by 3, 4s are 9s are. So, what remains now is 1 by 3 under root of 4 by 9 which is 1 by 3. You know under root of 4 is 2, under root of 9 is 3. So, the answer comes 2 over 9. If x equal to under root 5 plus 2, find the value of x minus 1 by x. So, x is under root 5 plus 2. So, 1 by x will be 1 over under root 5 plus 2. Let's rationalize this. 1 over under root 5 plus 2. This is a plus b. We'll multiply it into a minus b. So, I have a minus b on the top 2. So, 1 by x equal to under root 5 minus 2 down a plus b a minus b the denominator a square minus b square. So, under root 5 and 2. So, 1 by x is under root 5 minus 2 5 minus 4. So, 1 by x under root 5 minus 2. Now, I need to find the value of x minus 1 by x. Now, we saw the x here is uh, under root 5 plus 2 minus 1 by x. 1 by x, I have the value. I need to put this in bracket. Whenever there is a minus sign, it's best to put in bracket. So, one value is x, other value is 1 by x. Now, open the bracket. This cancels, answer is 4. Rationalize 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2. So, 1 over 3 plus 2 under root 2. A plus B. I need to multiply it into A minus B. Numerator, denominator, the same thing. So, then in the numerator, I'll have 3 minus 2 under root 2. Denominator a plus b a minus b a square minus b square. So, 3 2 root 2. 3 minus 2 root 2. Denominator 3 into 3 9. 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 is 8. So, the answer is 3 minus 2 root 2. If x equal to 3 plus 2 root 2, find the value of x plus 1 by x. So, x is 3 plus 2 root 2. So, 1 by x will be 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2. So, let's rationalize 1 by x, 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2, a plus b, multiply into a minus b, numerator and denominator the same thing. So, now we have 1 by x equal to 3 minus 2 root 2 over a plus b a minus b a square minus b square. So, 3 2 root 2. So, it is 3 minus 2 root 2. Denominator 3 into 3 9. 2 root 2 into 2, two root 2 is 8. So, 1 by x is 3 minus 2 root 2. Now, in the sum we need to find the value of x plus 1 by x. So, I have x plus 1 by x. Now, we saw our x is 3 plus 2 root 2. 
1 by x we found is this. So, we put 3 minus 2 root 2. You open your bracket plus 3 minus 2 root 2. You cancel this out 3 plus 3 and that is 6. If x equal to 7 plus 4 root 3 find the value of x plus 1 by x. So, we again we have x is 7 plus 4 root 3. So, 1 by x will be 1 over 7 plus 4 root 3. Now, it is time to rationalize 7a plus b. Rationalizing factor will be a minus b. So, even the numerator a minus b. So, what comes here is 7 minus 4 root 3 a plus b a minus b a square minus b square. So, 7 4 root 3. So, this is 7 minus 4 root 3. 7 and this will be 49 minus 48. So, 1 by x equal to 7 minus 4 root 3. In the sum, we need to find out x plus 1 by x. So, we put x in one bracket plus 1 by x in the other bracket. So, here we found out the value of x that is 7 plus 4 root 3. 1 by x is 7 minus 4 root 3. 7 minus 4 root 3. So, 7 plus 4 root 3. 7 minus 4 root 3. So, this will cancel out. 7 plus 7 answer 14. For the next one, 2 root 3 plus root 3. So, here I have root 3, root 3. I take that common out. What remains is 2 plus, this is 1. So, this would be 3 root 3. So, under root 12 into under root 15. So, let's simplify under root 12. Under root 12 is 2, 2, 3. So, group of 2. So, back again now, under root 12 into under root 15. For under root 12, we'll put 2 root 3, under root 15. So, 2, under root of 3 into 15. So, it'll be 2, under root of 3, 15 will be 3 into 5. Now, you groups of 2. So, 2 into 3, under root 5, 6, under root 5. If 3 minus under root 5 over 3 plus 2 under root 5 equal to a under root 5 minus 19 over 11b, find a and b. So, here we will take up 3 minus under root 5 over 3 plus 2 under root 5. a plus, plus b conjugate a minus b. Numerator a minus b. Whatever you do to the denominator, you need to do to the numerator. Now, in the numerator, we've got to open the bracket, which means it is 3 into that whole bracket, which is 3 minus 2 under root 5, plus minus under root 5 into the whole bracket again. That is 3 minus 2 under root 5. Denominator a plus b a minus b, a square minus b square. Now, on opening the bracket, 3 into 3 is 9. 3 into 2 root 2 is minus 6, I mean root 5. This also will be minus under root 5. This will be plus 2 into 5 and that would be 10. Over, this is 9. 2 under root 5 into 2 under root 5 is 20. So, here when you work it up, you will get, you will put the 9 and 10 together and that will be 19. Then you will put minus 6 under root 5, minus 3 under root 5 and here you will get minus 9 under root 5 over 9 minus 20 is minus 11. Now, it is time to compare. So, we have 19 minus 9 under root 5 over minus 11. So, I will take the LCM separately. So, it is 19 over minus 11. 
minus 9 over root 5 over minus 11. So, 9 minus 19 over 11 minus minus is plus 9 under root 5 over 11. And I know they said it is equal to a under root 5 minus 19 over 11 b. When I compare these first two terms, now what I did there was wrong. So, I need to compare these two terms. This one, this term matches with this term, under root 5, under root 5. So, I have a under root 5 equal to 9 under root 5 over 11. Under root 5, under root 5 will cancel out. And I will get a equal to 9 over 11. Now, for my second term, if I compare, you will notice that minus 19 over 11 matches with this second term. So, minus 19 over 11 equal to minus 19 over 11 B. And on comparing 1911, 1911 minus minus uh, cancels and your B is equal to 1. The rationalization factor of 1 over 2 under root 3 minus under root 5. So, we have 1 over 2 under root 3 minus under root 5. Now, we know the rationalizing factor A plus B minus B. So, this is the rationalizing factor. That is uh, rationalizing factor equal to 2 under root 3 plus under root 5. These are the options and you see in these options none, none of the places given 2 under root 3 plus under root 5. But suppose I were to take the 2 inside, what would have happened? 3 into 2 into 2, right? Which means it is under root 12 plus 5. Look and see, do you have under root 12 plus 5? Yes, under root 12 plus 5 is here. So, this is a rationalizing factor. In fact, if you simplify this one, you get 2 under root 3 plus under root 